Years ago, as a bass player, I wanted to be able to get some positions at some of these higher class hotels. I'm a jazz player, and so I wanted to be able to play an upright bass. I was at a worship conference, and at this worship conference, I really felt in my heart that God asked me to say, hey, Phil, I'd like you to use your bass guitar, uh, your talents, for me. But then came the hard part that I felt God say, I'd like you to dedicate your bass 100% to the ministry, to serving me, and I'd prefer you not gig around town at these different uh, venues. I got a call back from my buddy, and uh, we had landed uh, one of the hotels. And I had to tell him that I'm not supposed to say yes. And he was frustrated, very upset. I ended up becoming uh, the bass player for the state of Arizona for Promise Keepers. I got to play at the uh, American West Arena and play all over the state of Arizona. The times and the nights and the, um, the dedication it took to do that would have contradicted if I had said yes and I was gigging at these other locations. But sometimes he asks us to set other things down so that he can use us in bigger and better ways uh, to minister to his people. When I was in Bible college, I heard a sermon where a man shared a story of this guy who began to give and trusted God to a point that when his life was over, he had given 2,000 bicycles, 700 cars, multiple buildings, and many other things. Um, all he had left when he died was um, a silver platter that his mother had uh, given to him and, and how he was able to be used by God in a mighty way that way. And the pastor challenged us to pray and ask God, hey, what can I give? What would you like me to give? And then who should I give that to? Just that, that strength of knowing how important uh, giving was and how it affects people and how God uses that to not just bless the other people that we're giving to, but how it blessed uh, me as well, um, has given me such a strength to say, God, um, I'm happy to give. I even got to a point um, personally where things got really tight. The economy was down. I was in residential real estate. We were doing all the right things, but we were losing five to 10 transactions per month. When you're making the least amount of money is when typically you would say, well, this is where I got to restructure my bills. And the first thing that goes is maybe tithing um, or giving. But um, for my wife and I, that, was, that wasn't the first thing to go at all. We, we began doing a lot of couponing. We scaled back how we're doing our groceries and uh, the tithing stayed strong and, and God saw us through that. We, we never had a day that um, we couldn't put a meal in front of us and uh, we couldn't make our mortgage payment. Um, God was faithful and uh, he was good. And it's just neat when you have that opportunity to say, God, whether I have little or I have a lot, um, you know, how can I be a blessing to someone today? Um, the question of God, what uh, would you like me to give? And uh, who can I give that gift to?